This is 2D Design with Rob Colvin. So once we have our finished design here, contrast in size, we're going to create a larger arrangement with all of our designs. In order to do that, of course, we're going to start with a new canvas. So go up to File and New or Command N or Control N. And we want it to be in inches. The width is going to be 13 inches and the height is 10 inches. We want our background to be white and we'll click OK. So once we have that done, we can go back to this design and we can do Command A or Control A on your PC. We're selecting the whole image. Notice it is a flat image, so I will be copying. So Command C or Control C on your PC. We'll copy that. We'll go back to this and do Command V or Control V. Then I'll get my move tool by pressing V or go over and select it manually. Now I have those smart guides still working. So you can see it's, I move it here, it's telling me it's in the center and I'm going to put it approximately there because you remember in this image I have type up here and I've labeled each design according to its preference. That's what you're going to do on your image. So it's easy to start out right in the middle. Then you're going to get your other images you've created. So wherever you've saved them, bring them up. So here's my contrast in color. I will open with Photoshop. And I will do Command A and Command C. And go back here and do Command V. So that would be Control A, Control C, Control V on your PC. So if I put that you know, about right there. Try to get even spacing. Looks like I want to nudge it over a little bit to the left or the right. And I would continue to do that with all the others. So I'm going to paste my contrast in shape here. You see it ends up in the middle. With my move tool, I'm going to move it over. You can see the smart guides are telling me easily the distance between all three images is the same. So let's say I want to make sure they're all centered. I could press Command or Control and select all three layers. And then I would be moving all three layers at once. And it would tell me if I have it in the middle there. So that's a helpful guide. So I have all six on here. And I feel like I need space down there at the bottom. And I'll, I want to move them all together because that will make it easy. So I have the top one selected. If I press shift and click on the bottom, it selects all of those layers. Now I can make sure I have the move tool selected. And if I, if I use my nudge with the arrow keys, I can nudge it up and try to get the same space here. So now I'm ready to apply text. I will press T for the text tool, or you can select it manually. This tells me my text will be black, and it's going to be centered, and it's 30 point. So I'm going to do the title here. Now I can get the move tool, and I can make sure it's centered. And then I will do the smaller titles. So I'm going to raise that. I'm going to nudge it up a bit. Okay, now I'm going to do the titles for each image. So I will put, place it above this one and I am going to title it Contrast in Size, but I want to make that text smaller so I will go up here and I'm going to make it 14 point. I'll grab the Move tool and repeat the same process for the others. So now I have my finished design and I'm going to flatten it. I'm going to layer down to Flatten Image and then I'm going to save it as a J. Egg. And then I want you to save it with your first initial and last name to submit on Canvas so I know whose file it is. Your last name will be more helpful than just your first name. So first initial and last name. Thank you.